Good afternoon. I'm Hao Huen Mai, and I, today I'm going to present uh, Honeycomb, Secure and Efficient GPU Execution with Static Validation. Uh, this is a joint research work with researchers in Chinese Academia of Science, Tsinghua University, Stanford University, uh, IDEA Shenzhen, and PPUT. Today's AI applications are very powerful. Uh, let's say you want an image, um, say an astronaut riding a horse. So what happens is you talk to the AI, you spin up a machine with possibly multiple GPUs, and presumably the machine is on cloud. And you run the uh, large AI model for a couple of minutes, and then you boom, you get an image like this. And this is the real image from stable diffusion, by the way. Um, as you can see, AI are pretty powerful today. On the other hand, you have, we have a lot of private data, for example, uh, financial data for corporations and medical records. Uh, people would like to use the um, power of AI to generate advice or reports for, for filing and emails, etc. However, there are significant security concerns on leaking this private sensitive data to the AI model. So unfortunately, today's company like Apple or even JP Morgan just have this simple policy saying that we are going to ban all third-party AI services, uh, for example, ChatGBT on uh, private and internal data. Therefore, AI for private, um, <coughs> AI using private data needs a good security and privacy solution. Trusted execution environment for GPU or GPU-TAE for short offers a pragmatic approach for, to address the problem. The basic idea of a GPU TE is to build an isolation boundary, which we call in case, to encapsulate the application so that it can isolate applications and the host, uh, untrusted host environment. It is efficient when the computation happens within the in case because it's essentially it's the same applications. Um, it is always easy to adopt because it's essentially the same application. You can just use the same machine learning model as this. Application only pays for the performance overhead when um, you have to exchange data with the GPU hardware across the untrusted PCIe Express bus. Current proposals either include hardware modifications, which can be slow to be adopted in production environments, or rely on the driver-based isolation mechanisms which has a large TCB, there's a real box in security features which undermines the trustworthiness of the GPU TE. Honeycomb offers an alternative approach. The high level idea of Honeycomb is to use static validation to confine the behavior of applications. Honeycomb is a software based GPU TE. It builds its isolation using static analysis over GPU binaries. Essentially, the analysis is going to say, an application just cannot access any data of other uh, enclaves and vice versa. It also minimizes the TCB using OS level security monitors that uh, regulate all the interaction between the application and GPU hardware and the GPU driver and the GPU hardware. By co-designing static analysis and OS primitives, it essentially provides an efficient implementation of inter-process communication between enclaves. Honeycomb is flexible, efficient, and secure, it complements how implement limitations. Security checks uh, in Honeycomb happens at low time. It has 2% overhead for important AI applications like BERT and NanoGPT. It requires modest development efforts to pass the validations. Honeycomb also provides system-wide invariants. The end result is it results in an 18x smaller TCB compared to an inner system and are more than 500 times faster for secure IPC. In the rest of the talk, I'm going to talk about the assumption and backgrounds, design and implementation, evaluation and experiments of Honeycomb, and then I'll conclude. The goal of Honeycomb is to ensure confidentiality and integrity for multiple mutually distrusted applications. It offers protection for each application and isolation from the untrusted whole environment. Uh, we assume that diversity can do a number of things. For example, control the entire software stack, have physical access to the hardware. However, they cannot tamper with the GPU or CPU silicons. Honeycomb assumes a few things to work. First, it assumes there's a CPU TE 
our implementation uh, relies on AMD SEB SMP uh, technology, but the same idea can be applied to a, uh, Intel TDX as well. Um, Honeycomb also assumed that there's a discrete GPU with integrated memory and a trusted I.O. path, which can be established via hardware solution or software approach. Uh, side channel attacks are out of the scope of the paper. Before we dive into the technical details, I would like to quickly review how GPU works in a very high level. Uh, GPU essentially works as a discrete estimator. If an application wants to do something, it encodes the operation into a host command queue. The same command queue is mapped into the GPU address space as well. GPU execute the operation inside the command queue. GPU just execute the kernel functions uh, inside the GPU memory. Uh, when the computation is finished, it exchanges data over the PCIe bus. Uh, just to highlight, the PCIe bus is untrusted. The GPU drivers are responsible for initializing the hardware and the virtual address space of the GPU applications. It also responsible for multiplexing the device memory and, and device queues. Let's talk about the design and implementation of Honeycomb. Here is the overall architecture of the Honeycomb system. Uh, the green boxes are the trusted computing base. Uh, the key here is the uh, security monitors that regulate the host GPU interactions. There are actually two types of security monitors inside Honeycomb. The first is SVSM, uh, which happens, into, happens to be in the application VM. It regulates all the interaction in the application layer, for example, operation in the command queue. The security monitor inside the sandbox VM regulates the interaction between a GPU driver and the hardware. CPU TE are used to enforce the inquiry of SVSM and SM. The validator inside SVSM ensures all GPU kernels from applications are safe, meaning that they cannot touch any of the data from uh, of other applications. Based on the uh, OS security monitor and validation, uh, Honeycomb that provides efficient IPC implementations. The core principles of implementing security monitors is to intercept at the lowest level so that we can remove the OS kernel and GPU driver from the TCB. Security monitors are responsible for a number of things. For example, the initialization sequence, isolating memory, ensure the GPU can only execute validated kernel and secure memory copy, et cetera. The challenge here is to recover the high level semantics from a low level operations. So for example, the security monitor need to recognize if two 32 bit memory IO writes is actually the driver programming a address of a buffer. Although we do not have the uh, specification of our AMD GPU uh, hardware, by implementing the security monitor, we found five new bugs in the AMD GPU drivers. All the fixes are deployed in uh, Linux 5.19. The principles of implementing uh, static validation is to analyzing the binary directly so that we can remove the compilers from TCB. Uh, the analysis, like, just basically do uh, ensuring reads from the register are all well formed, ensure control for integrity. Uh, for memory access, it actually basically builds a partitioned virtual address space. It analyzes the range of each memory access for the GPU kernel, and here is an example. The GPU kernel on the bottom is a kernel just, just clean, uh, set a particular value for a consecutive region of the device memory. The validator take the binary of the kernel as well as the preconditions that specify the um, shape of the executions and the range of the base. And look at, looking at each memory access, the validator shows that the access actually within the their corresponding range of the uh, virtual address space. Notice that the, the validator have to prove that there's no write into the productive region, and all the metadata in the um, in Honeycomb are stored in the productive region, so that the application just cannot uh, undermine the integrity uh, of Honeycomb itself. 
Honeycomb used a polyhedral analysis to analyze the range of a memory access. Polyhedral analysis as a technique that from auto parallelization, the, they are mostly used to analyze uh, the loops and parallelization, etc. It works particularly well on matrix multiplication kernels. So it turns out that many of the machine learning workloads spend most of their time in matrix multiplication. So we have Honeycomb has minimal overheads. We intend to keep the algorithm simple to minimize TCB. It is a flow sensitive pass incentive algorithm. For even more complex programs, we ask a developer to add one time checks. Uh, so Honeycomb is, requires a developer to add one time checks for indirect heap references. There's additional implementation challenge to deal with the complexity of analyzing binaries. Uh, we encourage you to read the paper. So IPC is a useful uh, primitive for multi-stage uh, GPU pipelines. The validator of in Honeycomb enforce prediction protective IPC region in the address space. Uh, previous approach would require double encryption and decryption to actually communicate between enclaves. In uh, Honeycomb, that becomes a direct mem copy thanks to both security monitor and validations. There's more details in the paper. Uh, now let's move on to evaluation and experiences. We evaluated Honeycomb on an AMD uh, and a server that has two AMD Zen 3 uh, CPUs and one AMD RX 6900 XT GPU. The TCB of Honeycomb is 18 times smaller than the end-to-end uh, -end off the shelf Linux system today. That's basically due to Honeycomb no longer need to trust the Linux kernel and the device driver in their trusted computer base. We also evaluated Honeycomb uh, with five benchmark series that covers high performance computing, computer vision, and machine learning. There's a 23 application in total. Relatively end-to-end -end execution time comes from uh, 1.7 to 1.3 compared to Linux stack. Sometimes uh, Honeycomb is faster because our driver is a little bit simpler. The detailed breakdowns are in the paper. Honeycomb is especially efficient on machine learning workload. Our evaluation uh, shows that there is only 2% of overhead for BERT and now GPT because most of the time, they, uh, they spend most of the time on the uh, matrix multiplication kernels where polyhedral analysis works pretty well. There's a zero uh, runtime just required to make them pass the validations. It requires a modest develop, uh, development effort to pass the validation for all these applications. Uh, the details are in the paper. So to conclude, um, Honeycomb supports uh, secure and efficient GPU executions. Static analysis is a practical and flexible technique for GPU application. Honeycomb enhances security by co-designing validation and OS support. It is efficient on real work workload. Moving forward, the end-to-end -end stack of software and hardware stack for GPU evolves really quickly. Honeycomb shows a promising technique of how to uh, explore novel design. And that concludes my talk. Thank you. <laughs>